Hi, I'm Colette Boulet. Today, I will be demonstrating a few weaving techniques on this tapestry weaving frame. First, I will warp the frame with this thread, which is 100% cotton. I'll create a knot, like that. And secure it like this in a dent. Slide the thread through your hand to the opposite dent and down again in the dent beside it. I will double the thread per dent, so I will repeat going over the same dents. This will allow for more threads per inch and allow the warp to be visible. Now move over by one dent and repeat. Be mindful of the tension of the thread passing through your hand. Repeat until you have the reached desired width. When I have reached the desired width, I will secure the thread to the frame by wrapping it around the frame and tying a knot to the last thread of the warp. Check if the tension is the same. I want to insert a slat of wood across the warp, so I'm picking every other thread. I lift the group of threads and pass the slat of wood underneath. I repeat until I've reached the opposite end of the warp. Having the slat of wood creates better tension and spreads the threads out more evenly when you have two threads per dent. Slide the slat of wood to the bottom of the frame. I will create the plain weave pattern by passing the yarn one over, one under. I start from the left, picking every other thread. You will notice a crossing of the warp. I pass the bobbin through my opening and pull straight. I repeat until I've reached the opposite end. I beat the yarn down towards the slat of wood with a tapestry comb. I weave the second row by picking the opposite threads. Again, one over, one under. I use the tapestry bobbin to direct the yarn into place for the entire row. Then I beat down with the comb. Repeat as many rows as desired. I make sure to catch the end thread. I will pass the yarn one under to over. The twill pattern creates a diagonal motif. I repeat one under to over until I reach the opposite end of the row. When I weave the next row, I move my pattern one over to the right by one thread, maintaining one under to over. Here you can see the diagonal pattern starting to appear with the pattern moving to the right by one warp thread each row. To create the chevron pattern, the diagonal pattern is created in the opposite direction, here to the left. The pattern again, one under to over by moving the pattern by one warp thread over at every row. Here you can see the chevron pattern. I will 
will now create a plain weave tutu. To do so, I will weave two under, two over, and repeat until I've reached the opposite end. When weaving the second row, I will choose the alternate threads, maintaining the pattern two under, two over. Keep in mind to catch the end thread at each row. To weave sumac pattern, I hold two warp threads and wrap the yarn over right and under towards the left, creating loops. I make sure to maintain even loops. Going to the left, I inverse the action, hold two warp threads, over left and under towards the right. On the end thread, I wrap the yarn twice. I will finish by repeating the plain weave 2-2. Two -two. Now that I'm done weaving my project, I cut my yarn. With the use of a needle, I will weave the end yarn towards the center to create a better finish weaving, one under, one over. I will use a hem stitch to secure the edge of my weaving. I have thread a needle and will create a double knot. I flip my frame over to start on the back side. I insert the needle through the end stitches of three rows of yarn, and I pull through. I flip my frame back upright. I move two rows of weaving downwards, and I will pass my needle under five threads and up between row two and three. I then place my needle under three threads and over two and pull through. For the next stitch, I leave three threads to the right and repeat the first step. Repeat until you reach the end of the row. At the end, I flip my frame and work my needle through several stitches of woven yarn to secure it and I cut my thread. I remove the slat of wood. I will cut the warp and take the weaving off the frame. For the second edge of the weaving, I will make fringes, taking a group of cotton thread, twisting it, and making a knot that I secure as close as possible to the weaving. At the end of the row, I include the yarn in my group of cotton thread. Thanks for watching.